another day another vlog man uh today finna try to make the most out of it came out the sun kind of down last few days i've been look look at this car you think i care about washing this <laughs> boy oh boy the last few days i've been coming out kind of early and the sun will still be out but this time you know what i'm saying i decided i'm gonna go ahead and get closer to the strip if i can get over there the reason i ain't really been over there is because um it'd be hella crowded and the police trip on the strip and i like to ride my bike on the sidewalk because all these pedestrians out here are pedestrians i should say the drivers out here oh uh, yeah if i was in the car it's cool but on the bike i don't know too much trust them Y'all know I be riding records. I just don't care, but I'm living my best life. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but on a serious note, what I'm finna do is try to push. Look, I'm about to try to push towards the strip. Not try, I am gonna push towards the strip. Um, I got to make it up to my boy Blackie up in the back. Yesterday he was feeling some type of way because I took Blue out on the mission. He got this seat, you know what I'm saying? But right now we're finna try to get over there. And y'all got to understand this. Even though I live in Vegas, I ain't been to the strip in like two or three months. After a while, I would just get born. Just like <clears throat> wherever you live at, your local turn spot. That should get born after a while, just like out here. Even though it's a strip, boy, you out there? Whatever, so I'm finna find his destination. I finna get down, we finna see what Vegas got for us today, bro. Sis. Oh, don't tell me I done found me a spot. Don't tell me I done found Hey, y'all got the corn? You got the corn? Can I get one? Oh, yeah. Fire. Tell you, this corn right here, boy, I promise you. About to put the cheese on there with the butter and the cheese like fire. And get a little close up on it. No, no glass of your soul. Oh, hell no. Oh, them corns be fire, but if y'all would have seen her, look, her mayonnaise was hella thick. It was slimy. It did not look too cool, bro. I think I'm over here by the mall somewhere, so I'll probably just go ahead and snatch me a pastrami sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Parkway already. And y'all hear that little clinking up on my I promise you tomorrow I'm taking that brake off the front. I'm gonna be riding around with just the back brake, bro. And another thing, do not be mad at me. I'm gonna hit the strip some other time. Cause it's finna get dark. And I ain't really tested this camera in a low light. I've been daytime the whole time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, oh shit. That way. Man, I need a corn or something. You know what I'm saying? Now she got me feeling like I'm just, I'm out here lost. Oh. Yeah, I 
Jackie. Hmm. Tell her what my name is. Right now we got the Maryland Mall. So no good. I ain't leaving my bike parked outside. I wanna go over here and get something to drink so they gonna have to compromise with me. See, leave me electric bike outside. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? That's not this type of little game. So I walk him in there. On the mall. Oh, I hope nobody trip. <clears throat> I just came up here to get a pastrami sandwich and a lemonade, a strawberry lemonade. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be low key and I got this black bike and a camera on my chair. How was that? Hey, where my guy at? Um, what's his name? The, that's your dad? Where you at? Tell him DJ Ghost came by. All right. Hey, bro. I'm about to ride my bike through the mall. Will I get in trouble? I don't know, and I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> I'm DJ Ghost, bro. What you gonna do, kick me out? You kick me out, I'm still just gonna leave. Ride my bike to the mall. Everybody looking like, what are you doing? Yo, 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 I think I am going to put a horn on this mug. Where this alley going, dog? Hey, um, I just got a very, very important phone call. So, I'm about to cut this short real quick and go do what I gotta do, all right? This vlog, no, the bike ride is over, but this vlog is far from over. I'm gonna turn the camera back on when I finish what I gotta do, but y'all know the importance should come first. Bear with me, and I hate this sound on this bike. Yeah. Y'all on the channel right now. It's called. All right, man, I'll see y'all later. This is my first time up in all these areas over here, bro. Of my life. My first time moving through all this. Hey, I can get out over here, right? Yeah. You said what? Oh. Okay, I see this where all the smoke is we at. Got that little house up in the cut. Trenches right now, bro. Throwing some ice shit. Alright, you going 
JL, bro. Hey, get out that way. No, for real, this time I'm about to go to the house. I know I've been saying that for a minute, but. Who was that? I know I've been saying that for a minute, but I'm for real about to get out of here. I got like another 15 minute drive, then I gotta get all the way back on the other side of town. It's like another 45 minutes. Yeah, let me stop Lolly back, man. So the rest of this vlog y'all gonna see is just me on my way back to my car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm cool. What you was pointing at, but uh, I'm cool. <laughs> kinda, kinda not my type of type of type. You just walk across the street like the light ain't red, huh? <laughs> Put it back out there real quick. Somebody? Nah, I don't get down like that no more. <laughs> you crazy as shit. You, you ugly as shit. Come on, let's go. Why are y'all mad at me this soon? Police be over here. Hot, huh? I've seen her like three different times. But she automatically assumed I took the bike. Like, bro, keep it real. Did you take that bike? I'm gonna get across this lady right here. We got off-road tires. Oh, yeah. That's what it's made for, baby. <laughs> All right, now I'm back to the car. Let's go. I had to defuse a little family situation, but everything is straight now, you know, shit escalated out of control. That's why I'm here, though. But, you know, while I'm sitting down with the camera in my hand at the house, I had to cut the vlog early or the bike a little getting out early. Um, I got something to say, man. And, you know, sometimes when I be doing this YouTube, all right, when I started, um, I'm me. Like, I seen the progress. I'm talking about every step. I done skipped nothing because, like I said, I'm me. I'm living my life. I wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I grind it out. Nothing was happening. And so when I go from, say, 600 subscribers to 600,000 subscribers, you know, I see the progress. Of course, I'm appreciative and I'm happy with everything I got going on. But at the same time, I'm still regular old Darrell, bro. I don't look at it like, oh, yeah, you this big YouTuber. You popping now, this and that, this and that. I just look at it like I'm blessed. And I say that to say this. Um, when I get home after, you know, the whole little get up with my family, my sisters or whatever, I get home and I'm checking my emails. And mind you. I barely check my emails. I only check my DMs on Instagram. My emails, if the grip of companies trying to look, they try to get me to eat their candy, wear their clothes, all this. I ain't trying to, I ain't got no time for that. But when I check my email, all right, um, this lady named Sandra hit me. And she was like, <clears throat> hey, Ghost, can you please call me? Whatever the case, my son, he really loves you. We're going through some family situations right now, whatever, whatever. I'm like, for sure, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him up. Cause I just like, literally, 15 minutes before I read that message, I just had a big old little family get out and I had to defuse, all right? And so, I call her up. When I call her, her son is, I think he had his grandma house or his auntie house, whatever the case. So she's telling me like, look, my son, he's 15 years old, whatever the case, he's an athlete, he run track, he played basketball, baseball, football, whatever the case. I'm like, that's cool, like, no offense, but is this what you called me for? 
And so she's like, um, no, it's just that, you know, football season is around. You know, he's been in summer school. He's been working out all year. And <clears throat> now that he's on the team, like, don't get me wrong. He made the team. He made the varsity team. 10th grade, which is dope because I was playing varsity. Ninth grade, though. You know what I'm saying? But he was trying out for wide receiver, but instead the coach made him a cornerback. So I'm like, see, look, at least he's still on the team. She's like, no, you don't get it. Like, he really wakes up. Like, all he talk about, Terry Orange, Chad, like, he really loves football, whatever the case, yada, yada, is. I'm like, where he at? Where's highlight clips? She was like, he's gone right now, but I have a video, all right? He's over my sister house. Okay, that's the auntie. He's over my sister house right now. And he's not talking to nobody. He haven't been home in two days. This and that, that, and this. So I'm like, all right, for sure. Send me the video clip. Bro, this video clip, all right? He gets home. She tell me he gets home. She say, how was the day? He didn't say nothing. He goes in the kitchen, throws all the dishes on the floor, all right? And so she's like, what the hell is wrong with you? She thought he was on something at first because she never seen him act like this. And so when he go in the room, he throwing everything off the dresser, he put a hole in this oil or whatever the case. So now as a mom, she's scared for her life because like I said, she never seen her son. Hold on, DJ. I don't know if y'all can hear him playing that game, but it's kind of loud. <clears throat> so she's like, yeah, I had to go ahead and bring my camera out because I never seen my son act like this. I was scared. I was about to call the ambulance and the police. That's what she was saying. But um, so I guess when she bring it out, she bring her camera out. He run to the bathroom. She follow him with the camera. And when she showed me the video, bro, no lie, little dude up in the bathroom crying, bawling with tears, all right? He like, mom, it's not supposed to go like this, okay? DJ, go in the house, DJ. Not, mom, it's not supposed to be like this. DJ Ghost told me if I be respectful towards you, you know what I'm saying? If I go to school, if I pray at night, whatever, everything will work out fine for me. So she like, she ain't paying no attention to the name he said. She just hear him crying, just blabbering in the grip of shit, but she not turning the camera off. She like, just come outside, we can talk about it, whatever, okay? He like, no, no, you can't talk about nothing. The only person to get to defuse this conversation is DJ Ghost, and he ain't even messing with me. He told me everything would be straight. He lied to me. He lied. She said, he up in there crying, but then again, she not asking, who's DJ Ghost? So I guess 10 minutes go by, she up here trying to call his dad on the phone. Then he come outside the door, he come outside the bathroom, and I'm telling you, I got this whole video in my Gmail right now. He come outside the bathroom, she's sitting on the couch, she's like, baby, you all right? He go right, sit by her like, mom, I'm sorry for tripping, whatever the case, yada, 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 but, you know, my dad is all the way up in Oklahoma, we all the way up in here, up in San Diego, I have no father figure, I watched this YouTuber, DJ, go and he do not see the camera, bro. I watched this YouTuber, and that's when he start crying again. I watched this YouTuber, DJ, goes, he came for nothing, mom, he's something now, and he told me all I gotta do is just, just that right there is when I realized all the shit I be doing on YouTube, all the little, I'm going to stop all that, bro. I did not know I had a voice like that. I did not know people look up to me like that. And that made me feel some type of way. And so that night I told her, get him to the house, all right, which was last night. I said, get him over to the house. I don't care if you tell him you got a million dollars, you got him a new Xbox game, get him to the house. And when he get there, you call me, go to the living room, tell him somebody want to talk to him, all right. That's exactly what happened. She called him up, because like I said, this was the video that she saw earlier. The boy was over at her sister's house. She called him up, like, come to the house. Sister brought him over there. She called me up, like, he here, whatever the case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, all right, cool, I'll give him the phone. As soon as he grabbed the phone, he said, hello. I'm like, what's up, bro? He said, mom, mom, mom. He didn't ask who it was. I guess he recognized my bro. Mom, this DJ come up. Thank you, mom, so much. He get on the phone. He tell me everything that happened in the video. I was tripping on my mom. He telling me he's sorry. I'm like, bro, you got to tell your mama you sorry. You know what I'm saying? He like, you don't understand what you just did for my life right now. Like, <sighs> ain't on no cocky shit, but I got a voice now, and I'm going to start acting like it from now on. That video really touched me, man. I'm just going to end the vlog right there, bro. I'm out of here. 100. Bayo Flex and X Tessa. Brand new Rory, Smith and Wesson. You.